Hey guys, we're back. This time we are doing a DIY project that I came across on YouTube and also Pinterest and it is a DIY ring light and we already have one done. The things you'll need for this is a wire, what ring? Wire, wire wreath. wreath, which we got these at the Dollar Tree. Yeah. So I was able to find them there. Um, they do have different sizes of this, but this is the size that you want. I think it's the standard. Right, the standard wreath size. Then we got aluminum foil. Different kinds of zip ties. Which you can get the aluminum foil and the zip ties at the Dollar Tree as well. Mm -hmm. You will need scissors. And then for the lights, you'll have to order these online, which she ordered these off of Amazon. And it's just an LED strip. Make sure it has the wall outlet. Mm -hmm. So these ones did have them. And we'll put a link below. I think for both of them, it was less than 20, right? Yeah, tw for 25, something like that. And the thing is, they have different lengths, different types, ones with remotes, ones without remotes. Um, the type that you want to get, it's going to be easier if you have a remote with it. We and have remote ones. Yeah, and this, they are self-adhesive. There are some that are not. It, for this project, it helps for them to be self-adhesive. Even though you're going to be putting them on with the zip ties, it still helps put them in place and makes them more double secure. And we'll put the link below as far as all the dimensions. The yeah. What the specifics of how many lights and all that kind of fun stuff. <laughs> but we figure we get right into this. Yep. So let's okay, get you start off, you're gonna put aluminum foil, just wrap it around. Not any specific way to do this. You just start wrapping it around some parts, you can double over. This makes it where it's nice and sturdy and secure and it's gonna reflect the light towards your face. I'll get them off for you. Then when you go to put the lights on, the self-adhesive backing is what's going to stick, stick to. to. And it does reflect really good. And it doesn't matter which way you put the aluminum foil on. Actually, the one I made on the first one, I probably wish I would have put a couple more sheets in certain spots. Just so that way when you're sticking the zip ties through, you don't make a huge hole. It's just making a little hole. Make sure you uh, smash this down pretty good, too. Because you want that indention you want there. You don't tight. Because that indention in there is going to cut the light and shoot it towards you. You're not going to want to make it thick around it and look flat. And I wouldn't say this is too complicated of a DIY because even the light package, it comes with instructions. It shows you how to put everything um, together. So, should we do one more round? Yeah, probably yeah. here. Okay, so, we do have some where it's poking through the foil. So, right. we'll just cover that again. All right, you probably want those edges more towards the outside and the back. The back side, you're not going to care really how it looks. Actually, you don't have to really care about looks with this. It's more of a functional thing than a cute thing. <laughs> to save money. <laughs> yeah. Because the price of ring lights are very expensive. I'm not going to put a number out there because I don't end up being wrong. But it's Which we it's can find lot. some links and put them down there if you do want to purchase your own ring light and not buy one. Right. We can find some links. You mean make one instead of purchase one. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> You good? Yeah, you probably need another one for that. Rip that one. So everything pretty much can be found at the Dollar Tree, a dollar store, craft store of some sort. You have something around you that's cheaper, go for it. The only thing is finding them on Amazon with the LED lights. And even so, you can find those for a good deal on Prime. And Okay. okay. Alright, so we have the aluminum foil on there all done. We're ready to put our strip of LED lights on. And that's how it comes in the box. And you, it's just like anything else. You kind of have. You just pull that. Yeah, 
Okay, so as you can see, we got the LED strip lights all around. And now we're going to use zip ties to secure it better. And you can still feel through the aluminum foil where the wires are, mm -hmm. and you just want to make sure you're attaching it to a wire. Which we'll start out with this one here. Yeah, well, even if we just do it sporadically. I, when I tried to do it, I tried to go over that copper just in case of touching. Oh, okay, yeah. Just in case. Well, like, well here's, I'm going to start here. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Where's your so first, end? you want to secure it. What ends this? To where you connect it? Yeah. So we the secure that, end. and then you want to secure where you ended it. Okay, so we have some zip ties showing you haven't trimmed them, so you can kind of see how we're placing them, making sure we're securing the outside, the inside, and some spots throughout the middle. And then once you're done, you would just trim it right down to there, and it'll stay put and won't go anywhere. And we did have some big holes, but we're going to go back over and put some more aluminum foil on the back. All right, guys, so we wanted to show you real quick what it looked like lit up, but also show you the wiring that comes with it. And here is the outlet plug and then the part that makes where you can have a remote hooked up to it. And for this wiring, it shows a little arrow here and here to make sure that you connect them. So that goes in there. And you just plug it in. I need to grab the remote. There we go. But there we go. And then this set had different colors and strobing and that kind of thing. You can get somewhere it's just plain white. So, okay, so here's the remote mm -hmm. comes with it. Uh, you make sure you don't damage this part because this is what connects the remote to it. So that's when it's on. It's white. Different. We got ones that have different colors to it. And then it has different functions like this. Not all of them come this way. But this was nice. But this was nice so we can use it for holiday videos and do some crazy stuff and have some fun with the lighting. But in general, if you're just wanting the light, this works great for it too. All right guys, so that concludes our DIY ring lights. Mm -hmm. I hope you enjoyed watching us do this. I'm excited about this. Yeah, I'm excited I, to use this in our upcoming videos. videos. Um, let Especially us know. our makeup ones. This is going to be great for Oh, that. yeah. I'm so excited. <laughs> it's just going to help. And it, uh, all Christ all together is like $30, $40 maybe if you put everything together, taxes and, um, you know, so the time put it into it. It costs both of us 15 to $20 to make a ring light that yeah. could cost you hundreds of dollars to get. Yeah, definitely. So. Um, if you guys make anything like this, share it with us. We'd like to see what you guys make. And mm -hmm. if you have any suggestions for us to make yeah. things like this in the future please let us know and um so thanks for watching guys make sure you like subscribe and follow and us on facebook up. and like we said thanks again for watching bye, bye. guys